Hello everybody and welcome to this video. So in this video I'm going to go through how to create a remote monitor. So let's say we have A here which does some processing, it processes some data maybe from sensors or um, a microphone or a camera or whatever but it does some processing here and then it transmits some data and then this remote monitor receives the data and then it presents some information on a screen to the user and the user can have an up and down button to cycle through menus so maybe this tr transmits let's say in the um, solar panel system maybe you, you want to track voltages and amperages and maybe light or something like that so this could do the processing transmit it this could receive it and then in here you could have a menu for solar voltage battery voltage um, so the amperage, battery amperage, light, etc. And you could cycle through the menus here and view the values there. So that's what I'm going to try and create um, now. Um, so A will be a primary transmitter. So it processes some data and it transmits some data. B is a primary receiver. It receives processed data. It displays data. And what data it's displaying depends on the menu. So yeah, of course, so if you're looking at the menu um, which relates to light, then it's going to show the light data. It's not going to show the other data, it's going to show just the light data. Whereas if you're looking at voltages, it will only show voltages, it won't show the rest of the data. So, now, how am I going to do this? First of all, you'll need to see my buttons TFT in Arduino menu video. I'll put a link to that in the description. And you'll also need to see the NRF video 4. Um, and with video 4, you'll probably need to see video 3, 2, and 1 as well. But that's up to you. So, you can get some code from these as well. Or you will be able to if you can't right now. And these tutorials here from my channel will be the basis of this tutorial. Right, okay. So, new things which I'm going to go through today in this video which I've not gone over in my previous videos we're going to be using SPI and we're going to be using multiple devices and I've not gone through this in my previous videos but it revolves around the chip select functionality of SPI software encoding and decoding it's a way of transmitting data across to another a receiver basically and then being able to extract bits of data and know which bit of data revolves to what sorry resolves to what so go back to the example of solar you want to transmit the solar voltage solar amperage battery voltage battery amperage etc but you need to split those down when they arrive at the receiver so you'll need an array to split those down and to be able to split them down you need to delimit it in some way or decode it so I'm going to go through that as well. Then in a bit more depth, A will process data and encode it like this. So this is exactly how I'm going to do it. So we've got, starts with a hash, uh, the hash symbol, then data 1, data 2, data 3, data 4, data 5, data 6, data 7, and they're separated by commas, and they're going to end in semicolon. So that's how I'm going to be able to identify data, and that's how I'm going to be able to split them. And then B will decode the data into an array and then load the corresponding data into its menu if the menu is selected. So it's going to do this every second. It's going to receive the data every second, split it into the various cells of the array. And then if a certain menu is selected, then update the data for that menu. Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you how to do. You can see I've got a TFT and some buttons. and. Uh, a receiver on it well it's actually a transceiver but I'm using it as a primary receiver and you can see that when I press the menu the menu changes and it receives some values from the transmitter so I'll just show you close up there so I'm pressing the down button and it's cycling through the menus and you can see that it's getting data it's actually reading data from the transmitter and this is live. I'll show you the transmitter now. 
There we go. It's just um, a transceiver wired up as a primary transmitter, and this is just transmitting data to the um, to the receiver. Okay, so we'll start with the transmitter. The transmitter is the same uh, wire up and the same code as the transmitter in my transceiver video part 4. So have a look at that video and um, you'll see how it all works in there. The only part that's changed is this. And this is the message to transmit. So in this example I'm transmitting this text here. So it starts with a hash and it's got several values split by comma and then ending in a semicolon. And that's all that's changed. So get a hold of that code and flash it to um, an Arduino and then wire up the um, transceiver and um, you'll be good to go.